controversy now stems from President Museveni's media reports blaming the Speaker of Parliament, Rebecca Kadaga, for letting members of Parliament put to hold the operations of the Commission of Inquiry into Universal Primary Education and Universal Secondary Education. The legislator's position followed the portfolio minister Jessica Alupo's failure to present the commission's progress to parliament since its inception three years back. The minister told legislators that the commission reports directly to the president who instituted it. The commission attracted the House attention after the minister Jessica Alupo asked for additional funding to aid its continued operations. The commission was initially scheduled to be through with its investigations within the first months of its operations. There's even no narrative summary, no narrative summary, no preliminary reports, no progress report. And uh, the head of state comes on to bash parliament. We are the representative of the voiceless, so there is nobody who is going to threaten us. The commission was allocated 6 billion shillings at its inception, but without clear accountability of the initial budget and transparency of its progress, the minister asked for additional funding, provoking the legislator's impatience. It was fighting for the increment of teachers' pay. The president, his cabinet said there are too many teachers in this country. Recently, we released, uh, the country received the results of UPE and USC. The results alone speak volumes about our education system. The legislators now want the Auditor General to carry out a probe into the Commission's operations. Before they receive an additional coin, the Auditor General should investigate, should probe, should, should inquire into this commission. They are a bottomless pit ready to drain what is left of our resources. Legislators claim that the continued abuse of parliament by the president roots from the fact that the constitution gives him a leeway to unlimited term limits as long as he is elected through the ballot paper. The House is now contemplating the amendment of the constitution to reinstate presidential term limits. The president has so much power. And unless we change the, the law here, they will continue to fool us. The five member commission of inquiry, headed by Justice Mohanguzi and deputized by Lawrence Mochevi, was instituted to investigate operations of UPE and USE in 2009 after continued poor performance of the schools in question. Tedina Mayanja, NBS Television.